Hey, welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a car that we picked up from Reddit. This is one of your guys' cars. I believe the guy's name was Al. Thank you for posting this little bad boy. We got a Corvette Stingray. I'm unfamiliar with the brand. Um, made in Germany. Al was kind enough to send in some wheels as well. So we're going to be doing custom paint on this. It won't be a restoration. So other than cracking the windshield, this car is in pretty good shape. It is missing one headlight, so we're going to have to remedy that. It's got really unique headlights, as you can see. So I'm looking forward to getting started on this. Crazy. Two piece dash. That's unique. The doors that are just barely held in there. How the heck are we going to paint that? Do, 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 do. So the doors are held on by the interior. Okay. So I might have to put the interior into paint. Uh, we'll figure it out. There's a dirty crack. Well, first things first, we'll get this stripped. So it looks like there's some sort of coating here on the die cast. I'm not sure. It's not a primer or anything like that. It's, it's kind of weird. It's almost like a zinc coating, but it's toned really bad. So I think I'm going to clean this up with a wire wheelie. Try to even this out a little bit. Too bad for these headlights, you know. If those headlights were closed, it would it'd really be a whole different car, but hopefully we can make this look decent. It's a it's a unique casting for sure. Definitely the first die cast I've worked on that was made in Germany. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna give this a nice uh, wire wheelie polish with a brass wire wheelie and we'll get this all cleaned up really nice and see about making that second headlight before I go too crazy and get this base painted. Get a little metal glow happening here. This stuff smells like feet. Gonna go give this a little rinse and a scrub and I'll come back and then I'll go right to a polishing wheel and we'll get this mirrored up. So I talked to the owner and I asked him if I could go ahead and close these headlights and he was game for it because this is just a, I don't know, almost looks like a Rolls Royce or like a Bentley or something but this flat spot in between the headlights is probably what bothers me the most. You know that's supposed to be a nice sleek little point. So I'm going to close these headlights so we're going to remove these from the base do the necessary bodywork and hopefully this will look like a Corvette again because I don't know what this looks like. I spent a lot of time making a new socket for the one side but it just does not help it in any way so we're gonna go ahead and fix this up. So we got some work to do no big deal. No big deal. So the first thing I am going to do I guess is mix up some putty and we'll get this thing drying. I did buy some Millie put finally. Uh, we're not going to use it on this one yet just because we got, we've got a little bit of our high heat JB Quick Weld stuff yet. So 
So I got a little bit of water here. I'm going to use it just to moisten the gloves to keep the tackiness down a little bit. And this stuff's cool because it's got both parts. So we're just going to cut out a little chunk. This blade has pretty much had it. And then we're just going to mix this up. Here's our little lobster finger bowl here. So we're all mixed up here. Obviously I got way more than I need. I'm just going to go ahead and fill this whole front end. Everything that's on the inside here we can clean up after once it's hardened. No big deal. Cool. So you can see what's bulging out where the headlights were, and that is perfect. So I got more than I need on there. And I'll be able to clean up the inside after we're done and make it look all sharp. So I'm going to go let this dry for now. We'll come back to it in about 15 minutes. And I'll be able to start shaving all this off of here really nicely. But for now we'll cut those headlights off that base and keep moving on this thing. Alright, we're going to use our heavy duty cutting disc here. We're going to snip these bad boys off right now. There we go, that's looking much better already. We got a pretty big humongous license plate on there I don't actually care for, but it's kind of European, so maybe we'll keep it. The rest I am feeling, so that is good. Just need our body back here. So it's been about 10 minutes. And our putty here is hard enough, we can start working on it. As you can see, it just shaves off pretty easily, actually. And this is going to take a little bit of time, but I'm going to get it as close as I can. Obviously, this isn't a final finishing putty. This is just filler, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time and get this into shape, and we'll see how far we get. Okay, I got it roughed out. Still need to work on sharpening this tip up a little bit. That's the one thing that they were kind of missing on this model. I think it's going to work out fine as long as I can get this edge right. And I can get it fitting back onto the base. That's going to be the biggest concern. Shouldn't be too bad though. So I'm going to keep plugging away on this edge and try to get a nice, nice sharp point on there. So we've got that fitting on there pretty good. And it's starting to look a little bit more like a Corvette now, which I'm very pleased about. Next video we do is going to be another fun one where I'm using putty. We are putting a big blower on an El Camino. So that'll be the next video out. First we got to get this thing fixed. We're going to use some Tamiya putty and it's going to provide us with all of our finishing putty needs. It's very fine. It works well. You want to go easy on this stuff, use thin coats. If you can, it's going to harden better. If you have problems with it chipping off, you just put it on too thick. More than likely. I like using a little piece of blister pack for a little putty knife. And you don't want to get this stuff on your mat. It will take the color off it. So you got to be careful. I'm just going to do a very light thin coat to begin with. This stuff dries really quick, so I'll probably put a little bit on, sand a little, put a little bit on. All right, so I put a little bit of black primer on our car here. Uh, now I'm just thinking about what color we're going to do this. All right, so step one, I'm going to hit this with some silver just to try to match, you know, the natural color of a base a little bit more. So our colors are pretty close. So I'm just going to hit this with some quick silver quick. And I'll be right back.
Just getting ready to do an assembly. I got our axle tubes made. There's our bling and wheels. There's our bumpers and our front details. This is all clear coated. We got a black interior. All right, I guess it's that time. Introducing the first Reddit submission car completed on the channel. Hell yeah, man, look at that thing. Between coats of candy, I put some, uh, I put an effect on the paint and I just wanted to see how much of it was going to show up. It's not bad. The stuff is called um, Highlight Interference. And it doesn't quite do what I was expecting, but it looks really cool anyways. So keep in mind when you're putting cars on the Reddit page for submissions, you might not have many, many opportunities to get a car done by me. So if you do send one in and you want it back in mint condition, certain things I might not be able to fix or replace. Had a good time on this here project. Pretty cool casting. Lots of details there, except I think the front end was like way off in my opinion. I'm sure some of you guys will agree with me. Overall, pretty sweet little car to work on. I think our front end looks okay. Looks a lot better than it did anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, check out the merch. Haven't mentioned merch in a while. I sell some sweaters that are pretty sweet. Link in the description, 10% off right now. Have a good day, fam. I'll see you in the next one. Bum, bum, bum.